let me introduce our guest speaker for today. Her name is Ms. Roxanne uh, Portalejo, and we're so excited. Let me give you a little, little testimony about her. She's been in ACM three and a half years. She's got zero kids, but she got a puppy that, she, a puppy that she's loved. <laughs> she's from Texas. She's been a regional director a year and a half. She got started uh, August the 17th of 2022 is her goal to be a regional vice president. She's a regional director currently. And her goal is to also have a nice white Mercedes 500i four-door. And, uh, and also wants to put her, her uh, nephews and nieces through college. That's, see, it's always a wise. There are us. It's for somebody else to be a blessing. And I'm just excited to have her on the call today. And like I said, she hails from the San Antonio area. Without further ado, regional director, can we give her a warm welcome to Miss Roxanne Corlejo? Let's give her a hand. Thank you. So much. Of course, thank you so much, Mr. Thomas. And you did a fantastic job saying my name, so I appreciate that. <laughs> So yes, again, Roxanne Coralejo or Coralejo, however you want to pronounce it. But first and foremost, I want to give it back to you, your leadership and all that you do. These calls are really, really important. You do not have to do them. I hear people say that all the time. You really don't as a senior vice president. And I hope you guys don't take these calls for granted. These calls are exactly what has helped propel my business throughout this year. And I'll get into that in a second, but thank you so much. Thank you for all that you do and putting these calls together because I know that they've helped me and I know that they will help other people on this call as well. Um, so a lot of you guys don't know me and just to give you a little bit about background and how I'm on this call today is uh, because of my mentor, my coach, uh, Regional Vice President, Mr. Dean Trolley. So uh, I was asked to be on this call. If you guys weren't on the call when I was asked, uh, it was very last minute at the end of Mr. Trolley's information. He was uh, just ranting and raving about myself as a proud coach does. <laughs> Rants and raves about his uh, up and coming leaders. And on the spot, there's about 80 people on the call and uh, Mr. Thomas just asked me to speak. And so do I have your permission to be 100% transparent, 100% honest, please? Okay, awesome. So you gave me your permission. So when Mr. L. Thomas asks you to do something, the only response is, <laughs> that's what I did. I did that. I smiled, but through my teeth, if you can read through my teeth, I'm saying, oh, crap. <laughs> so one of the craziest things about what's happening is that, yes, he asked me to speak, but in my mind, I'm like, oh, man, this is, this is scary for me. So one of the things I'm learning about uh, ACN is how to become a leader. And the number one thing I've heard over and over and over is you have to get out of your comfort zone. So this is out of my comfort zone. Immediately after the call, Mr. Dean Trolley called me and I'm like, oh man, I'm super nervous. And pretty much he just says, get over it and get used to it. <laughs> that is my leader. My regional vice president just says, you know what? Get used to it. So I'm nervous at that time. And I'm like, all right, I don't even know what to talk about. So Mr. Trolley told me just to get used to it. If I could have your guys' support and say, you got this. Say, Roxanne, you got this. Perfect. That's what I need. Mr. Trolley pushes me. You guys will help support me. You got this. Thank you so much for that. So yes, right after I hang up with Mr. Trolley, Mr. L. Thomas calls me. And this is two weeks ago. And he says, I said, okay, I'm happy to do this. Just tell me what you want me to speak about. I am so great at looking up information and just regurgitating information. I can do that. No problem. And he says, tell your story. So I said, okay, perfect. Those are the words that came out of my mouth. But in my head, it happened again. And I'm being honest. I said, oh, crap. <laughs> Why? Because your story is the hardest to tell sometimes. Your story, like myself, my story to me is nothing significant. There really isn't significant moments in my story. The only thing that's different about me and why I was asked to speak today, why I have been rec uh, nationally recognized, why Mr. Trolley is so proud of what I've been doing recently is just my work ethic. That's really all that it boils down to is work ethic because that's something I know that I have. That's something I know that I can do. It doesn't matter who's around me. I will outwork anybody in the room if I put my mind to it. How, what are the things that I have to overcome to have this work ethic, to hit the position that I am now and to continue growing? One of them is be non-negotiable with my goals. Be non-negotiable no matter what. And the second thing I learned is that I had to rearrange my life for ACN. So those are real two important things that I 
kind of clicked in about a year and a half in this business. So my story doesn't start when I sign that application to become an IBO. Absolutely not. Because I have life going on. I have my own traditional business. I run my business. My story starts is when I made that decision a year and a half later to make my RD run. It took me a year and a half to make that decision and do it. That was the first step. And when I made that decision, guess what? I was non-negotiable with it. And I had to rearrange my life to fit that goal. So a lot of the times in the beginning, I was rearranging ACN to fit my life. Oh, I can't jump on this call. Oh, I can't jump on this meeting. I have a barbecue. I want a river day. Here in Texas, in San Antonio, we have rivers in the summer. That's what we did. I went on vacation a lot. So what I did is I rearranged my ACN business to fit my life. But when I made that decision, it switched. I rearranged my life to fit my ACN business. How did I do that on my regional, uh, my regional director run? First is I set that goal. I set that goal. We had a con uh, conference coming up, LCC. And I said, you know what? I'm going to be there. I had a lot of ways to go. And I said, I do not care. I'm going to be there. I made that non-negotiable. How did I rearrange my life? Well, you know what? I lost business during that time. I run a 24 hour, seven day a week locksmith company. And if my techs couldn't make a call, guess what? It's me that goes out. I do jobs. I make calls. I made it a point where I said, I am not taking any calls out in the field. I'm answering calls and I'm dispatching. If my guys can't get there in a reasonable time, they're going to have to wait for them because I am rearranging my life to fit that. So that actually was a sacrifice for me. I was losing money because they said, okay, well, if you can't get here within an hour, I'm gonna have to call someone else. And I said, I'm so sorry. Here are a couple numbers, call someone else. I was non-negotiable and I rearranged my life. During that time as well, I didn't just take a hit in my locksmith business, I took a hit in ACN. So I was building under my executive team leaders. And if you have been in this business, long enough, you know, as an executive team leader, if you're working under executive team leaders, you're making no money. <laughs> and at that time, we weren't getting paid for services that we put into our business. At that time, just a couple months later, it changed. I was like, man, if this was only in place a couple months prior, I would have made a grand ton of money. But at that time, I wasn't. But I didn't care. I was non-negotiable with that goal. And as I was getting closer to that date to qualify for LCC, it was a computer that gets you qualified. Computer. I had hit that goal, but it wasn't showing up. I don't know what was happening. Even ID seal uh, points weren't showing up within 24, 48 hours, three days later, four days later. And I'm like, what is happening? I need these points to show up. So what I do, I went above and beyond. I kept working. I said, I need these goals to show up in this computer. I need to qualify. I need to hit this goal. It's non-negotiable. I hit that goal and I was invited to LCC, but because the computer didn't catch up, I didn't get that invite right away. I thought I had missed it. I was heartbroken. I'm like, man, I hit regional director, but this is so bittersweet. This is, was my goal, but my real goal was LCC and I missed it because the computer. Well, I had someone to go to bat for me, Mr. Dean Trolley. He made his phone calls. He's like, look it, she's over it. Go back and see when these points were submitted. She went above and beyond and hit that plus sum. So five days before LCC, I got that invite. Again, I worked so hard for this. And I said, I am going no matter what. Five days prior, I looked up airline tickets and I'm like, oh my gosh, these tickets are ridiculous. I lost money in my locksmith company. I lost money in ACN because I wasn't making any money. I was working under my team. I cannot do this. So again, I became non-negotiable. I said, all right, I'm driving. I am driving from San Antonio, Texas to Charlotte, North Carolina. <laughs> it is happening. So I decided I made that goal. We're driving, drove all the way through with uh, my sponsor, my regional director, Mr. Ryan Ruiz. He made that drive with me and he said, all right, let's go. We're driving, let's get there. I became non-negotiable and I had to rearrange my life. As a business owner, if you're called out to drive or go halfway across country within a week, that's difficult. I had to make changes right away. I made those changes and I got it done. I was at LCC. I loved it. I'm so excited. We show up late. We're driving straight in, not showered, brushed our teeth in the gas station parking lot. They've already started. They've already eaten. So as soon as I sat down, I'm like, okay, I'm here. I'm here. I'm open up my notebook. First thing you got to do, we talk about all the time is take notes. I always have my notebook in front of me. So I'm ready to write down and Mr. Greg Provenzano comes up there and he says, the first thing that comes out of his mouth, it says, this 
is not for you. This information, everything we covered today, it's not for you. And I'm like, wait a minute. I just busted my butt to get here. And you're telling me everything you're delivering is not for me. Who the heck is it for then? And he said, this is for your team. Everything we cover this weekend is to go back and take to your team. That was one of the biggest shifts in my mindset is like, okay, everything I learn ACN really isn't going to be for me. All the trainings that we're on isn't going to be for me. That's why I take all these notes so I can regurgitate and bring it back to my team. Because it wasn't me that qualified for that event. It was my team that helped me qualify to get to LCC. So it was my responsibility to bring that information back to my team. So now I want to fast forward a little bit to today. Today and where we are, where I'm at in my business today. And there has been a world of changes that's been happening. But a lot of that starts with these calls. So I am not part of Mr. Al Thomas's team. I did not know he has all these calls. I was on that call yesterday. My goodness, Ms. Jocelyn Driscoll, she got me fired up. I had some gaps in my schedule. I worked until 11.30 p.m. After that call, I said, non-negotiable, I'm filling out my calendar <laughs> because it was just so powerful. So these calls are amazing. And yes, Mr. Trolley is my mentor. Mr. Trolley is my regional vice president. He coaches me every day. I get these calls from him. Hey, Roxanne, how, where, are you, where are you at in your business? Why is this person not qualified? That's his role as my coach. But I don't get to see what everyone sees as he comes up here and actually starts delivering some powerful information. And that's actually made a big transition. So we talk about these, uh, if you guys have been on those calls on Thursdays, the very first one was how to accelerate your business. I took notes. I put those into action and I became non-negotiable with that. So as we were going through these months, what popped up is an event or a... Um, a contest, so to speak, a production contest for uh, an event that they were having in California. So I'm in Texas and they had a production contest for those that went to this event in California. So again, this is in June. And if you remember the topic in June, it was call your shots. That was the topic for June is call your shot for Mr. Dean Trolley. How many people on this call that were on that call remember even what their goal was or their shot? Anybody remember it? A couple people? Couple? Did you hit it? <laughs> no, I see a lot of no's. You didn't hit it. Why? Because you were negotiable with that goal. You set the goal and you let it be. I was non-negotiable. When he said, call your shot, my shot was, I am going to win this production goal. I am going to be in California. I am going to meet Mr. Tony Kupis. I am going to be at his house. There is no negotiating with that, non-negotiable. So if I were to ask everybody on this call, if there was a production contest set into place and they said by the end, within a month's period, 30 days period, your only goal was to get 15 reps, 15 reps, and you get to hang out with Tony Kupis in one of his beach houses sit down, have dinner, watch a fight, have a good time as if you guys were best friends. Who here would go above and beyond to get all those 15 reps? Who here would lose sleep over it? Who here would be non-negotiable with that goal? Right? Everyone's saying absolutely. So I will tell you, out of this production contest, I think there were about 25 people that um, they had opened it up to 25 people out of that for in California. I was the only one to hit that goal. Why? Wow, I see that. Everyone's asking, wow, saying, wow, wow, you have this opportunity. Why wouldn't you be non-negotiable with it? And it wasn't hard. So for myself, I was about 10 days into the month already before they announced this. 10 days into the month, I had zero reps. I don't know what was happening at that time. I just wasn't working as hard. I didn't fill out my calendar. I had zero reps. I didn't have anything to push towards. You need to have something to push towards to be non-negotiable for. So now it's about 10 days into the month and they say, all right, we need 15 reps by the end of the month. And I'm like, wait a minute, 15 reps? Like the 10 days are already gone. I only have a couple of weeks to do this. I got to get busy. I got to get to work. So guess what? That next week I went to work. I said, all right, we got a couple reps that next week. The following week, we're getting closer and closer. And they said, you know what? Looking at the numbers, we're going to extend it a couple more days. And I said, whoo, 
I was on a, a midnight madness call. I was excited. Woo, we're going to, okay. I was like, you know what? That was my goal, but why did you extend it? Now that you extend it, I'm kind of going to lax now. And I said this on a call with a whole bunch of leaders, which now I regret <laughs> because I'm sitting in front of Mr. Efren Tejada, Mr. Jason Tisdale. We have all these RVPs and FVPs on this accountability call. And I said, man, now that you pushed it, like now I know I have more time. I'm going to be a little more lax. And it's Mr. Jason Tisdale. And I will never forget this moment. And he says, you know what, Roxanne, then that's on you. You are the closest to hitting this goal. And that is on you if you cannot be honest and true to yourself. You set a goal. Why aren't you going to hit that goal? Just because we extended it? No. Well, now you're doing yourself a, dis a disjustice. He called me out in front of all these leaders. And I'm like, man, I'm embarrassed. I should have kept my mouth shut. <laughs> so guess what happened? That following week, I said, absolutely. I got to be non-negotiable. And it really was. I wanted to show Mr. Jason Tisdale. You know what? You challenged me. I'm going to get it done ahead of time. <laughs> So I became non-negotiable. I rearranged my life to fit ACN. I put other stuff on the back burner. I was there for every single one of my reps. And I said, you know what? This is a team effort. I included them on this. And this is another moment where I noticed my mindset changed is that I wasn't in this on my own. I wasn't. I had a team with me. And so I opened it up to the team and I said, hey, listen, this is the competition. So what happened is I had people calling me hey Roxanne how are we hey Roxanne how many more reps do we need they were filling my calendar not me my team was filling my calendar to help me get to California help me be there my plane ticket was bought that's it before I hit that goal I purchased my plane ticket because guess what I said I'm being non-negotiable I am making that event no matter what that's going to be the keys being non-negotiable with your goal so my team was helping me. I hit that. I'm, so, I'm excited. So I get to California. We have the best time. And one thing I want to point out is these events with these co-founders or with the leaders, being able to hang out with Mr. Al Thomas, Mr. Dean Trolley, anybody, one of these leaders is not just to have a good time, take pictures and just hang out with them. It really is business. It really is a growing experience. So I'm there. I'm having a good time. We have some wine. We're watching a fight. But I wasn't going to let that moment go to just be a moment. So I made it non-negotiable for Mr. Tony Kufus. I'm sitting here, regional director, only one qualifying for this event. There's other regional directors in the room. We're taking rides in his Ferrari. We're just hanging out and having a good time. And I said, you know what, Mr. Kufus, what would it take to bring you to San Antonio to have you do an event for my team? I didn't ask him, hey, can you come to San Antonio? Hey, when are you coming to San Antonio? I made it non-negotiable for him, <laughs> the co-founder of ACN. I said, what will it take? The only response was going to be an answer of what I need to do, what our team needs to do in order to get him out here. That was the only response. And guess what I was thinking in my head? I don't care what the heck he said. My only response is going to be done. Why? Because I was being non-negotiable as well. I said, done in my head. So what did he say? He said, get 100 people in the room. 100 people in a room and I will come to San Antonio. And I said, done. I didn't say, let me figure it out. Let me talk to my team. I said, done, let's get it on the calendar. And he looks at Mr. Trolley like, who is this girl? <laughs> Mr. Trolley goes, hey, I didn't tell her to say that. I didn't tell her to talk to you about going anywhere. So he said, put 100 people in a room. And I said, done. First thing I did is I came back to San Antonio and I said, all right, team, this is what we have to do. We have to put 100 people in a room. Now we're looking at today, our event is this Saturday. Mr. Tony Kupis is coming out because I was non-negotiable, because I rearranged my life to fit ACN. Mr. Tony Kupis is coming out here to San Antonio, Texas, and we opened it up to everybody. Today, we have 162 tickets sold. Our goal was 100. We have 162 tickets sold with a handful of days left to continue inviting. After this call, we are meeting up at a coffee shop to continue inviting because not because we hit our goal. All right, cool. We're safe. Let's relax. No, because we want, we want 200 people in that room. That is our goal. We're becoming non-negotiable. We have to sell 250 tickets to fill out this room. Why? Because it's such a great event. And it's something that we want to use to propel our team for them to become non-negotiable with their regional director runs. 
so they can rearrange their lives to make sure they are regional directors, to hear their stories. So like I mentioned, my story, there's nothing significant about it, is just my work ethic, being non-negotiable. That's something we want for you guys as well. We believe in you guys. I believe in every single person on this call. So just as I mentioned, Mr. Dean Trolley just said, get used to it. <laughs> Find yourself a mentor. Find yourself someone to push you. Find yourself someone that just says, you know what? Get used to it. Get it done. Make it happen. But I also have people not even on my team. My phone was has been blowing up the past couple of days saying, Oh, I'm praying for you. I'm looking forward to hearing you on Mr. Al Thomas's call. I'm so excited for you. You got this. Exactly how you told me that I got this today, you guys. I have people messaging me. You got this because a handful of people know this is not my comfort zone. I had to get out of my comfort zone. So I want to challenge you guys, challenge everybody on this call. It is the 24th of August. By August 31st, set a goal. Make it just a small goal. Challenge yourself. Don't quote me. <laughs> Don't misinterpret what I'm saying. Challenge yourself, absolutely. But it doesn't have to be a goal of retiring your parents or putting your kids through college. Set something now. Set something now to start with. Set your goal for the end of this month. Then set your goal for in three months, in six months, in a year. And be non-negotiable. When we talked about calling your shot, and I'm going to go back to that, is call your shot. Write it down. Put it up in front of you. I have regional vice president. I have my how many points I need. Let me show you right here. On my phone, on my screen, 1,692 points more to RVP. Look at it. See it. Be non-negotiable about it. So hopefully you guys wrote that down. I saw a handful of people. What is your goal? Is it a dollar amount? Is it helping someone become executive team leader? We still have a few days to do that. Whatever it is, rearrange your life. Be non-negotiable. Get that done. Because if you don't, the only thing you're doing is hurting yourself. Nobody else. Not Mr. Al Thomas. Not Mr. Dean Trolley. Not Ms. Jocelyn Driscoll. Not anybody on this call. The only thing you're hurting is yourself. Because what you're doing is now you're allowing yourself to not accomplish your goals. Be non-negotiable rearrange your life. Those are the two topics that got me to where I am today. And one thing I want you guys to repeat after me, look at that goal, see what you wrote down and say, I got this. Tell yourself, I got this. Yes. Again, I got this. Yes. Sam Foster is saying, I got this. That's how I love it. Put it in the chat. I got this. Hit your goal. The end of this month, if you hit your goal, guess what? You have belief in yourself. We believe in you. The challenge is getting you to believe in you. These calls, man, like I told you, makes me nervous. But guess what? People believe in me. I believe in you. You got this. Be non-negotiable. Rearrange your life for your goals, for your life, for your family, for your reason why.